All right. So I've got a bit of a change in plan. Uh, oh, welcome to the video. I am in a bit of a rush. Do want to get this out before uh, April starts officially. So I'm running a little late. I started this art piece quite a while ago. Had a different plan for it as uh, I had found something different for it. Um, I will insert that so you can see kind of what I was thinking of right here. Um, not doing that. Instead, I did see a, a kind of fun type thing either on TikTok or Pinterest or Instagram. I don't know where I saw it, but I'm going to try that. If uh, if it doesn't work out, you're going to see it anyway. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then yay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you where we're at now, right now, before I do anything else to it. Uh, and then I'm going to do the thing and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a, a, a finished thing. Uh, I doubt it'll be 100% done before this video needs to go up. So if you want to see the, the true finished thing, whether it was a fail or a pass, just follow me on Instagram. Um, link will be down below. I think I can link my Instagram. If not, uh, just search for me, you'll find me, uh, Penny Loker. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get this thing going. So this is what I got so far. Pardon the shadow of bad lighting, as always, in this room. And not quite done. So this is day two, day three. I've got the Ukraine colored flag up there. And then the red to represent the blood being shed. Um, my plan is to do like a sunflower uh, either just like right here or kind of over like the whole maybe third or something and then what I want to do is bring in some texture so I'm going to try to do like a 3d printed silhouette of soldiers um probably like their shoulders up or something like that over here um just kind of my idea of a uh, artwork for the conflict and if I can before I put the soldiers on I'll just do like an outline and paint it in black and then scan it and then once that's done put the um, actual 3d printed uh, object on to give it some some texture and some layer and then that will be that so there you go the artwork continues Alright, so again, shit lighting, sorry. So this is where we're at. Uh, Ukrainian flag colors and red. Uh, so let us do the treatment and God, I hope it works. Alright. So it did not work the way that I was thinking it would. So I'm going to leave it to dry and see what it looks like in the morning, but right now this is a fail, which, you know, try not to, as always, be too hard on myself. I had another fail uh, this week with a different project that I was pretty bummed at and pretty frustrated and angry with myself, so I'm going to try to be gentle. And recognize that, to be fair, before I put the black on it, I wasn't all that happy with it anyway. So the fact that it does have black on it and some texture, not mad at it. And we'll see what it looks like when it fully dries uh, tomorrow. Alright, but as for this video, this is it. This is the art video for 
This video every other month, as we are doing this year, is art or knitting or something. Um, I have some video ideas in my head that I'm excited to put out there. But again, just committing to one video a month for now. Um, I am interested in doing a live, either... Uh, YouTube live or Twitch. Probably YouTube though, because I don't think I have the equipment available like at all for Twitch. Um, but I do have to take out uh, a blanket that I had knitted the last year that again didn't work out, didn't wasn't happening, so it's gonna take a while. So if you're interested in that, uh just leave a like, leave a or Thumbs up this video. I don't know. Leave a comment, whatever. You want to see that. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, I might do that uh, sometime in April or May, depending. Um, but until then, uh, again, check out what this piece will look like in its final form after it's completely dried tomorrow, as well as after I've tried the technique again. Uh, I know I didn't actually say what the technique is, so I should probably do that before I go. Um, the technique was just putting some ISO, so some rubbing alcohol, or, well, this isn't, this is 70% uh, isopropyl um, alcohol on it, and it's supposed to make the acrylic just, uh, just disappear, kind of. Um, so I, again, don't know if it's supposed to do that while it's wet or dry. I didn't really see any instructions, just saw a video and thought, ooh, that might be nice to try. Again, huge fail as of right now, but you win some, you lose some. So I hope you all have a wonderful uh, day or whatever you're watching this, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!